because time wasn't measured in sanctuary since there was no sunrise, no sunset, no clocks, no tides. People didn't celebrate birthdays or New Year's or anniversaries. They did keep track of the passage of time because people would get tired. So time was measured by how many wakings one had had or when the last sleeping was. And some people, particularly mothers, when they were having babies, could keep track of their gestation. But even then, they didn't know if it was nine months or eight months because you couldn't really tell if the baby was on time unless it was very, very premature. And fortunately, they didn't have many premature births in sanctuary because everyone worked very hard to keep everyone healthy. And actually, sanctuary had evolved and the people who lived in sanctuary and were able to survive living underground had to be very strong. But they did have celebrations. And the celebrations would happen whenever any group of people just felt like they wanted to have a celebration. And one day, Denise and Mage decided they wanted to have a celebration because they liked each other. And they wanted to let other people know that they liked each other. So they told people, we're going to fix you a good, really good meal and show you how well we can do our martial arts together. So everyone gathered in the center. First, they ate. Mage and Denitha had prepared a feast because even though they lived underground, there were many plants and vegetables, vegetables and fruits that they had cultivated and legumes. And after they ate, people sat around and talked. Mage and Denitha let their food digest. And then they stood up. Mage on one side, Denitha on the other. And Denitha's grandmother hit the bell and they began to move across the floor, advancing, a kick here, a thrust there, but they never touched each other. And they kept a balance and a movement that was beautiful and inspiring, and a perfect ritual that let everyone see these two young people really liked each other.